time. Uh, it was so it was safe to come back towards the fence, walking around there, and then that's so all this was filled with slate, which is the roof that collapsed. Yeah, lots of steep edges. I don't think we particularly want to go anywhere near. Very wet, very loose shale, but look at the scale of that. This place stored something like 14% of the RAF's entire bomb stocks, which is remarkable until it collapsed. So a bit of the geometry of this place. So if you look behind me here, we've got the two levels. Actually, if we look up at the cliff edge, um, we have two storage levels. The main railway went in the siding to on the right-hand side. The upper level of vaulted chambers was then covered with uh, loose slate um, info take it back up to ground level. So that, that is ground level. Um, this was an old slate quarry before the RAF requisitioned it um, as, as ammunition bomb storage. Um, during the disaster that ultimately led to the end of this, the section that we're in now, the open air section, collapsed, um, trapping some workers and also trapping um, tens of thousands of tons of, uh, of explosives. So. All of this has been excavated, but the bomb stores itself, of which we were probably in half of what would have existed, the rest of the bomb stores were out here. And you can see up along the edges where the, the vaulted ceiling would have gone and where the various levels were on both sides. So all of this rubble has been removed, uh, leaving this open section. Now the preparations begin. Let's get our, get our camera set up for some pitch black work. So two levels here, which I think we can get them all. Um, we're, just, we're just going to do an initial walk round just to get our bearings. So I wonder, I wonder if there are people upstairs, you think? Oh, sorry. <laughs> so here's one of those conditions uh, lifts.
judging, judging by the raised floor here, I thought this was possibly an open area, possibly where the workers work from. Not the other thing in the done. filthy habit of, I think it's modern, the filthy habit of shitting must be continued. Anyone found shitting will be severely something with chewing something provided offenders. Oh yeah, nice. There's a proper light. Like, rather ugly faces. Now come down again. If anyone's wondering, there's an incredibly strong smell of weight here at the moment. I get to carry a 500 gram GoPro. Tom gets a 600, 6 kilogram gimbal. What is, I can't even work out what's going on. No. If anybody in the comments can work out, but no, don't, this is not going on the video. It should. <laughs> Well, I say lovely, very strange graffiti. The beam. The beam of light. So we've got to try and get get ourselves through here somehow. We say goodbye to the known and welcome to the unknown.
Do we just get our feet wet? Don't know. Let's have a look. To be honest, it's like something out of Jurassic Park. It's like the land that time forgot. It doesn't go very far. Well, I don't think it goes very far yet. Oh look. No, there's no there's no way I'm getting down that. It is absolutely sodden. But isn't that stunning? Oh, now I need to cross the River of Doom again. The very slippy River of Doom. Join on the adventure. On the epic adventure. Arr. Like the other one. Yeah. Arr. If this makes it to the video, and if you haven't seen the Isle of Man Steam Packet Company safety video for the ferries, give it a Google. It is. It is terrible. Arr. That would make sense when you watch the video. Doesn't make sense to anybody else any other time. Hang on, let's see what they do. Can we do it again? <laughs> yeah, this is working. We're on the hunt for uh, some authentic Welsh. If anybody knows what that says, it may be. Ah, oh, I got some artwork. Nice little birdie. Ah, tally. Raining even heavier. Oh, of course it is. Yeah, we made ourselves some sandwiches before we came out, and we have, of course, not eaten them yet. Time gets away with us. Yeah, so this is the original railway tunnel uh, in which the full gauge train sort of entered. Seals from the outside, but we may actually be able to find what that is. No, so I think that was a full gauge railway, i.e., really wide tracks, and this is an arrow gauge, it's a bit more tramway. <laughs> so I'm truly blocked. Well, that's the end of that. Oh, we have Chlinberis bomb stores. 
actually very busy. I think if we include the four people we saw on our way in, we were just leaving. Plus another group of four in there, and another group of two. It's quite a lot of people for a rainy, a rainy May afternoon. Start some stunning scenery. Well worth the visit. We're off the National Park. 